Coverage continues now keeping football players safe. That is a priority when it comes to the heat. CBS 47's Ben Morris joins us now live from Sunnyside Stadium with the precautions for athletes tonight. Ben. Well, it is still pretty hot out here right now, Brian, but you might not know this turf field behind me can get to 30 or 40 degrees warmer than the air temperature. And it's for that reason that every precaution is being taken tonight. Football is back in the Valley. This is just a preview of what's to come with the return of Friday Night Lights in Fresno. But as the late August football and sports season comes back, the grueling heat remains. We have an athletic trainer at each of our high schools, a full-time athletic trainer, so they will take care of our, our athletes and our coaches, um, making sure that there, there's ice when available, um, water anytime they need it. Brett Maher, athletic manager for yeah, Fresno so Unified, tells me trainers and coaching staffs are prepped and ready to go for whatever happens. Right over here, you, you'll see that black tub. We have a, an ice bath that's readily available in case we have an emergency where we have to put someone into the ice bath to cool down their core body temperature. And under the brutal summer sun of the Central Valley, experts agree that keeping players cool is priority number one sitting in the shade, drinking cold water, and then really cooling yourself down. So if you need to, pouring cold water on your body, taking cold showers, those are uh, some of the big tips and, and very frequent water breaks. According to UCSF Fresno, even with temps below 100, the risk remains for heat illness like heat exhaustion or even heat stroke, especially for young athletes exposed to the elements for long periods of time. It can be as simple as like a little bit of cramping to something like heat stroke where the person is vomiting, they can't stop, they're altered. And the goal here is to catch people before they get to heat exhaustion or heat stroke. President Unified is continuing to monitor the on-field temperatures here tonight, but they don't expect the heat to get in the way of any of the action as the Sunnyside Wildcats take on the Golden Valley Bulldogs tonight here at 730. Reporting live in Fresno, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.